Hey guys, if you caught yesterday's video, the shop with me at Nordstrom Video, you know what today's video is gonna be all about. We are trying on that haul that I purchased while you guys shopped with me. And today's video is sponsored by Nordstrom. A big, big thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring me. You guys know how much I love shopping at Nordstrom. They always have like the latest, the greatest, all of my favorite brands are carried there. So a big, big thank you to Nordstrom. Let's go ahead and start <laughs> by opening up the boxes. So they all just kind of arrived and they arrived like one by one. I think the two smaller ones up there are like the gift with purchases. So let's go ahead and just open all of these up. Oh, actually this first uh, smaller box is that Vapor eyeshadow quad. <gasps> I'm so excited for this. So that was in box number one. Box number two is uh, the gift with purchase when I purchased that Bobbi Brown Veronica Beard lipstick. So this is like a little leopard print makeup case. Ooh, you guys know how much I love animal print, so that's awesome. Ah, and then one of the bigger boxes had a Clinique gift with purchase. I purchased that even better serum foundation again. Hopefully it's the right shade this time. So I think this was a gift with that purchase. And then the last box, which is the heaviest, I think this has most of everything I purchased. Ah, yes, we've got the two YSL mono shadows. So excited for those. The Cure Weiss um, Empty Magnetic Palette, which will put the, the highlighter in. So here's the Cure Weiss highlighter. Ah, the Estee Lauder Rebellious Rose. Um, oh, it's a cream cheek. Did I miss that? <laughs> it says cream cheek product on there. Okay, it's a cream blush. I love those, so that's not a big deal. Looks like it's in the shipping package. Ooh, we have the Vapor Bronzer. The Clinique Even Better Serum Foundation. The Bobbi Brown Veronica Beard Lipstick. And last but not least, the Parfums de Marly Delina Shower Gel. I am gonna open this up. Obviously, we're not gonna be trying this on, <laughs> but I do wanna open it up and I wanna see if it smells just like the perfume. So here is the shower gel tube. It's a little bit more um, floral. I feel like I smell the rose a lot more. Definitely we'll have to see when I actually use it in the shower, but that's upon first sniff. <gasps> I'm so excited for this. I'll definitely report back as to how I like it. All right, so I don't have like a full, full face here. Close, very, very close. Um, I do feel like I need a little bit of help today. I'm a little bit tired. I look a little bit tired. So I'm gonna use a little bit of primer. I didn't get any primer. So I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base, which I have right here. So I'm gonna start with this. Just put a nice light layer down. Oh, feels so good and oh, smells so fresh. It has a grapefruit scent to it. Oh, all right. And now for the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. It has an SPF 25. And this is the foundation. Well, I did a full day wear test in a shade that was a little bit too deep for me. And I just loved the way the foundation looked. And I'm not like a medium to full coverage kind of foundation, which this foundation has. It has definitely like a fuller coverage than what I'm used to. And so I was just so surprised at how much I enjoyed it. Um, but this does have... Is it salicylic acid? Okay, yes, there is salicylic acid in here. And because I have sensitive skin, um, I was really kind of like looking out to see if my skin was gonna be kind of negatively affected by it when I did that wear test. And my skin was fine. So I don't think there's a ton of it in here, which is great if you have sensitive skin. But I also have noticed that my skin is becoming a little bit more resilient the older I get. So anyway, I did just wanna point that ingredient out in case you are sensitive to it or in case you really love salicylic acid, it is in here. So the SPF is, um, a physical SPF. So there's titanium dioxide and zinc oxide as the sunscreen, which is fantastic. So the shade that I got this time is CN28 Ivory. And then the shade that I got last time, uh, like this is 28, that one was like 52 or something. And I think it was called Neutral. And it was described as something that I thought would work for my skin tone, but it was just too deep, just too deep. So this one already, I can tell, is a much, much better match. So I'm excited. I'm just gonna shake it up. And I love this bottle. I love this packaging. Looks like a little weeble wobble. And it's got a pump dispenser. So I'm just gonna pump out a little bit. Again, this is a fuller coverage foundation. So I'm just gonna pump out a little bit and spread as much of that out as I can. But there's the texture. It's a little bit runny, but I wouldn't say it's uh, it's thin or anything like that. 
All right, so I've got my Clay de Poe uh, foundation brush here, and I'm just gonna pick up some product. And, oh yes, the shade is a much, much better match. <laughs> All right, so there it is applied to half of my face. It is looking as good as I remember it. I'm so excited. And I used only about half of that one pump to cover this half of my face. So I think one pump would probably cover your entire face, unless of course you wanna build on the coverage. Um, it is definitely buildable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the rest of this to the other side of my face. All right, there it is all over my face. I'm so, so excited to have this foundation in the right shade now. So again, for me, I have CN28 Ivory, and they actually categorize this as very fair, which generally is too fair for me, but for Clinique, that is what is working for me. Oh, I just love the finish of this foundation. All right, uh, moving on, let's see. I didn't get any concealer. I'm trying to think if I need concealer. I don't think so because this definitely has a little bit more coverage. I don't think I really need um, any additional help around my eyes. Surprise, surprise. So I'm gonna forego concealer. I also did not get any powder and I'm trying to be a little bit more, um, or I should say I'm trying not to put powder on just like automatically. I'm really trying to kind of determine whether or not I actually need powder. Because I'm not putting concealer down, I don't have that to set, I would probably Put some powder down over that just to make sure it doesn't crease or whatever um, and this foundation is actually setting down pretty nicely it doesn't feel super tacky so maybe yeah maybe i'll skip powder today so let's jump over to bronzer so i got one from vapor and i believe this is a new brand to nordstrom this is a clean beauty brand and i've been really excited to give them a shot so i got the bronzer in shade eclipse here is the compact oh i love this like goldish green um, pea color and it's like um like a soft matte not like nars i don't think it's going to get dirty but it has that kind of feel to it Ooh, and here is the bronzer it has a little bit of sheen to it let me do a quick swatch there it is Ooh, that looks very nice it looks very neutral doesn't look too warm or too cool. All right, I'm gonna use my By Terry. It's like a liquid powder brush. I really love how big and fluffy <laughs> the powder side is. So I'm gonna go into this vapor bronzer. And just like the foundation, I'm just gonna apply it to this side of my face so we can get a good sense of its effectiveness. All right, so here it is with here it is without. Wow, I really love the tone of this. Yeah, it's like perfectly neutral. I don't think it's it reads too warm. I don't think it reads too cool. And it leaves just a subtle sheen to the skin, like almost just like a satin sheen. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh, I like that. And that really blended out really easily. All right, uh, let me apply to the other side. You know, another great thing about this bronzer as I'm using it, I'm realizing it's not like overly pigmented. So I'm just kind of dipping my brush in and just, you know, kind of brushing it all over my face. And it's like nice. It's a nice level of pigmentation. I don't feel like I'm going overboard too quickly. I also don't think like it's too light where I kind of don't feel like I'm making a difference. It's just a really nice level of pigmentation, especially for bronzer, because I think you can go overboard really, really quickly. <laughs> I know I have. Ooh, I love it. That is definitely a winner. Bronzing powder in the shade Eclipse from Vapor. All right, so far so good. Let's move on to blush. I am so curious about this blush from Estee Lauder. This is the Pure Color Envy Flatters All Cheek Color in 01 Rebellious Rose. And if I understand correctly, this is limited edition. So this is the box packaging. Here is the compact. Oh, what is, oh, it has a plastic. I was like, why does it look all bubbly? <laughs> it has a plastic seal over the top. All right, so there is the lid. Oh, so beautiful. And it's compact as like a square 
gold finish compact. And here is the blush. That is very, very pretty. Now, if you guys watched my Shop With Me video, they had like a couple of different pictures of this product and like the main picture of it made it look really, really red. And then once you clicked on the product and they had more product shots, those shots looked a little bit cooler, like almost like a mauve pink color. I feel like this one is a little bit closer to the main picture, which I am pleasantly surprised at. All right, so what I didn't uh, realize is that I think this is a cream. Oh yeah, it's definitely a cream. I just rubbed the uh, center of that. All right, there is what I got off my finger. Let me actually pick up some more and do a swatch. Oh, neat. It looks like it has a matte finish to it. Ah, yeah, no shimmer or anything that I see. Yeah, I think it just has a matte finish, yeah. Ooh, that is pretty though. Well, because it's for all skin tones, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in lightly. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go with my finger and just tap some on. And this formula is definitely on the, I guess you could say like on the drier side. It's not like one of those emollient formulas. And so this is nice. I feel like this definitely will play better with like powder products if you want to layer it on top of um, powder or, you know, just under things. I think it has like a better chance of kind of doing well in a lot of different instances. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more just at the apples of my cheeks here. Oh, this is such a pretty color. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, wow. Why is this limited edition? <laughs> I hope they make this not limited edition. I hope they make this part of the regular line. I mean, I think this is a beautiful product. All right, so there it is on, there it is without. Oh, isn't that so pretty? And it's blending out really easily with my finger. And I didn't put any powder down, but I do have that bronzer down and I am definitely kind of going over where I applied the bronzer, but it looks fine. Like it's not moving the bronzer or anything like that. It is great. All right, there's the Estee Lauder Rebellious Rose Pure Envy Color. Wow, this is a long name. Flatters All Cheek Color <laughs> Cream Blush. The only bummer is you're gonna ruin the design on the pan very, very quickly, but that's okay. That's okay. What a beautiful product. Oh, I'm so glad I got this. Not that I even really hesitated. <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, add to cart. All right, let's move on to highlighter. And I did pick up one from Keir Weiss. It's called Light Slip Powder Highlighter. And Keir Weiss is an organic uh, beauty brand and um, they also package everything, well, everything that they can in something recyclable. So this is all like cotton paper and then it's perforated on the back. So let me go ahead and just pop this guy out. So here is the highlighter pan. And I did get one of their like paper empty magnetic palettes. So I'm just gonna remove this little sticker here and stick in the highlight. All right, there it is. Here's the magnetic palette. Very, very nice. I love these, so compact and sleek. And I love this red color. Let me do a swatch of this, hopefully you can see. Ooh, wow, look at that, beautiful. So this is in the shade Beam, and I think they have a deeper shade. So this is the lightest powder highlight that Kira Weiss has. They have a bunch of um, cream highlights as well, which I have, which are really beautiful. Oh, but this is pretty. It has a little bit, just a little bit of like a peachy undertone. I don't detect any micro glitters, but it has like this certain kind of like sparkle to it. Ooh, all right, let's get this on. All right, I've got my Chantecaille cheek brush. I'm gonna go into the highlight and just brush that over the tops of my cheekbones. Ooh, that's lovely. I like the level of shine that it has. It is a little bit more than something I would call like just really subtle, but it's not like in your face, you know? Ooh, that's so pretty. It's like a really beautiful like satin finish. So smooth. Wow, so far I am batting a thousand. Is that the saying? <laughs> I don't follow sports. <laughs> so far I'm batting a thousand. All of these products are so beautiful and they work 
beautifully together. All right, so next let's do eyebrows. Now I didn't purchase anything during my shop with me for brows, but I do have this product from Laura Mercier. They sent me an eyebrow pencil in the shade Soft Brunette. So let's see, what is still in here? Oh, is it a sharpener? Yes, oh cool. So it comes with a little sharpener. Tuck that away with my 5,000 other sharpeners. This is what the pencil looks like. So I'm assuming we have pencil at one end and a spoolie. Yes, a spoolie at the other end. Ooh, nice. It's a very hard pencil. I'm pressing down really hard to make those marks. So that's soft brunette. All right, let's see how this shade works for me. Pencil definitely has a great texture. You can really, really get some light, light lines. Nothing too overly pigmented, which is great. Yeah, I think the color works actually really, really great. And my brows look very neat. All right, so that's the Laura Mercier eyebrow pencil in soft brunette. Worked beautifully. Eyeshadows. So we've got a lot of options here. <laughs> I got two of the new YSL. Uh, crush eyeshadows. One is a satin crush, one is a sequin crush, and then I did get a quad from Vapor. So let's unbox all of these. All right, here is the Vapor packaging, beautiful light blue. Again, it has that soft touch to it. Wow, these are gorgeous. They look just like they do on the site. And here are the four shades swatched, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. So these three are like a satin shimmer and then this one is a matte. Ooh, that's beautiful. And then here is the Satin Crush packaging. It has this um, black lid. This is the Sequin Crush. It has a gold lid. So they do look a little different. So here is the Satin Crush. Ooh, that's pretty color. Really, really pretty. The color name is not on the back here. I'll leave it down below in the description box, but I think it's just shade number four. Four, but I can't remember. I'm getting like all the names mixed up between the satin and the sequin. But anyway, it's color number four. And again, I'll leave it down below in the description box. And then here is the sequin crush. Again, I think it's color number four. No color name on the back. Okay. Here are the two swatches. So here's the satin crush. Here's the sequin crush. The sequin crush is kind of like <laughs> these two shades in the vapor quad. There's like a lot more like biker glitter to this sequin crush. And then I think this is coming back to me. I think I got like extreme copper, something like that in the satin crush. Anyway, so those are the six eyeshadows we're dealing with. I think I wanna use this satin crush for sure. This is such a pretty color. It's like a little peach. And then I think I do wanna use some of these in the vapor quad. So why don't I go ahead and start with the YSL satin crush. All right, I've got my Chanel uh, eyeshadow brush. I think this is like their flat. They call it the flat eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go into the Satin Crush. Oh, I've gotta peel off this sticker here. I'm gonna apply this to the inner corner and over the center of my lid. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. This is like the perfect one and done shadow. I'm so tempted to just throw this all over the lid, but I do wanna use those vapor shadows. I don't have a ton of experience with YSL eyeshadows, but I really, I really like this. Yeah, no fallout. Yeah, really nice. So there is the Satin Crush applied. All right, now let's go into this Vapor Quad. I'm really tempted by this one, which is so uh, different for me. I mean, it's definitely a blue, but it's very, very cool. It's almost like a gray. And of course I love these two. You know what? Let me pull out the lipstick that I have. So I have the Bobbi Brown Veronica Beard Luxe Lip Color, and that may help me determine what eyeshadow color I wanna use. So here is the packaging. And of course the leopard print <laughs> caught my eye. I love it so much. Well, I feel like either color would work, but maybe the olive one would be a little bit more complimentary. Yeah, let's go ahead and try the olive shade. I have my um, Chanel, this is like a dual-ended blender shader brush. I'm using the blender side. I'm gonna go into this olive color just ever so lightly because it is uh, pretty deep. Ooh, wow. Wow, what a beautiful smoky shade. Ooh. Wow, 
Wow, I just went like full drama. <laughs> Didn't mean to. I'm gonna take that first Chanel eyeshadow brush and without adding any product, I'm gonna use it to kind of blend this out because this is very, very deep. This is super pigmented. Wow, look how beautiful that is though. Ooh, and I love the finish of both of these eyeshadows. They have like a beautiful satin finish, but they're not too metallic. And you really need just, just the tiniest bit. If you have my skin tone, you're very fair. You just need the tiniest bit. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way. Woof, I am ready for a night on the town. I wish we were doing that these days. Well, I guess I'm ready for a night to go pick up some takeout. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the other side of this brush. This is like a shader. It's like a flat shader uh, to this blender side. And I'm gonna use the tips and just grab a teensy bit of that same olive shade from the Vapor Quad and just drag it underneath my lower lashes to balance things out a bit. And if you guys have <laughs> this double-ended brush from Chanel, I was so confused when I first got it. I kept trying to put the cap on over the brush. It was so difficult not to kind of ruin the bristles. It has this little like sheath here that you just lift up and it covers the brush and then you can put the cap on and then press the whole thing down. It's so cool. These are great travel brushes. Anyway, moving on, I need to put on some mascara. I did not get any new mascara, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some on and then we'll try on this Bobbi Brown Lux Lip Color. Okay, now that I have my mascara on, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this eyeshadow, the Vapor, um, this dark olive color, onto like the base of my lashes just to give it a little bit more dimension. So I'm kind of going underneath my lashes. I guess you could say I'm tight lining. Uh, with this shadow. All right, last but not least, let's give this lipstick a shot. So this is this shade, Sunset Orange. <gasps> oh, you guys know how much I love, love a bright, bright reddish orange. Look at that color. Oof, it's like neon. Such a good formula. It's so, so creamy, so pigmented. All right, so that is my try on haul. I am extremely impressed with everything that I got, which is pretty rare when you're kind of doing like a full face of new makeup. But I knew I was gonna like this foundation because like I mentioned, I had already done that uh, wear test, but I was again concerned about the uh, shade, but I think I got the right shade. I'm so excited. The Vapor products, excuse me, these were beautiful. This eyeshadow, so pigmented. This bronzer is like the perfect tone. It has that beautiful satin sheen. <gasps> I love it. This Estee Lauder blush, what a beautiful, pleasant surprise, especially because I wasn't expecting a cream blush, but that worked out beautifully. And this highlight from Kier Weiss, I mean, stop it. That's so beautiful. And the Satin Crush eyeshadow from YSL, that is just such a beautiful one and done shadow. I'm definitely gonna have to try it all by itself. Um, and we'll definitely have to try the Sequin Crush that I got. And this lipstick, I don't know if you guys have tried this uh, Lux Lip Color Formula from Bobbi Brown, but I feel like it's never talked about and it is so good. It is so creamy, it's so pigmented. It just, oh, it's just wonderful. It's so, so comfortable on the lips. I love it. Well, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and a huge, huge thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.